everybody thank you for joining me on today's video and today you can see we're at Kaida Idris so I'm just waiting for the rest of the lads and we're gonna get going and uh, have a wander up and see what we can see and I'll catch you guys in a few minutes Okay, so after a big ass climb, um, we finally made it to Clean Cow Lake. Look at that. Does it get any better than that? Look at those views. Absolutely amazing. So I think it took us maybe a couple of hours to get up here. It was a feral trek and a feral slog and a lot of it was uphill, so I didn't manage to get much footage. Uh, I decided breathing was too difficult <laughs> and that pack was too heavy so I just started taking the views and bring out the camera later. Okay, so we've ditched our packs over there somewhere. Just got our valuables, cameras and stuff. And we're now gonna go up the side of here, along the top and peak the summit. So, I don't know if I've mentioned it and we die while camping with the dragon. And the Twin Peaks boys are up on the hill. So, as soon as we get to the top, I'll bring you back. Onwards and upwards.
Okay guys, that's the last of it. It doesn't actually look as steep as it looks in real life. Whew. So we've just come from that summit there, all the way down it, and then all the way back up it. And we just got that last little bit. Nearly there, Di. Nearly there. Nearly there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right boys, 893 meters high. What do we say? Summit or nothing! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we are at the rescue shelter. Let's have a quick look around. With the rescue dogs. Okay, so let's have a look. This is the uh, five star for the night. No fires. That's pretty cool. Pretty groovy. Tell you what. It ain't much, but if you needed it, it'd definitely be home. Whew. Steam coming out of my breath. I don't know what temperature we're at, it's like minus four. But yeah, basic, but it's a shelter. I think somebody somewhere will have been glad of this at some point. What do you think, Mark? Would you keep in that? I and me, I bet somebody somewhere has been glad of that. Yeah. So, I think it is showing on the camera. We're getting quite a lot of snow. It is coming down a bit. And there's the trig point just up behind us. So I think I'm going to put the camera away, zip up, and we're going to make our way back down to camp. Hey guys, so on the way here, we came down that and all the way down here. So we're going for an alternative route now. We're just going to go straight down the side. And I don't know how much that's going to be a good an idea because I'm frightened to death of heights, but we're going to have a go. Wish me luck. And if you see the video, I made it. Hey guys, so we've just come back down. We made the ascent and we came down over there somewhere, straight down the side of the mountain, which was hard work. It was a little bit crazy, but it definitely tested out my fear of heights, that's for sure. So we're back now by the lake, having a little chill out, just about to get the tents. You can see the sun setting behind me, going over the top of Kaida Idris. What a majestic looking mountain that actually is. And in this lake setting with a sunset, it's just beautiful. Definitely worth busting my ass all day for. <laughs> I've never walked that far, never walked that high, never walked down a hill that steep before. Absolutely out of my comfort zone, but what a day, what a day. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit down, relax for five. <sighs> Show you a little bit of scenery behind me and uh, maybe make a cup of coffee, something to eat. And then, as soon as it starts to get a little bit dark, we'll throw the tents up and hunker down for the evening. So. Alright, guys, just going to show you around the tent, show you the setup, show you where we are. Look at that. Lakeside views. So, I've got the Nature Out Cloud Peak 2. Inside, you see, I've got a food bag, nothing fancy tonight, just pot noodles, pot scratchings, coffees, pepper armies, and all sorts of snacks. So, I've got all my bits and pieces for cooking. Got the Odo Land camp cook set again, the old 20 quid off Amazon. 
boils up water pretty quick so I'm impressed with that I've got the new table from my good friend Mark in the next tent across uh, looking forward to using that got the DJI Mavic Mini over there spur socks, power bank, all those bits and pieces OEX 400, uh, Trekology UL80, Trekology Pillow and just an extra summer bag just to throw over the top of that just to keep me warm when it gets a little chilly got some waterproof trousers and that's me so as you can see you've got Twin Peaks in the REI co-op tent in camouflage blue and you've got Die camping wild with a dragon also in a cloud peak too Hey everybody, so it's uh, about nine o'clock ish and it's fucking freezing so I've got in the sleeping bag and I'm about to go to sleep. Let's start sign off and say uh, no no and hopefully it's not too cold overnight. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Okay guys, so it's I think about half past five in the morning, six o'clock. Uh, I'm just gonna grab a quick coffee pack away through the tent down and probably get back to the car park I know yesterday when we got there the, the traffic warden lady she was there about 9.30 so we got to try and get down for about 9 just to try and avoid getting a ticket so yeah I'm just going to guzzle this coffee pack away, pour me rubbish in my bag and uh, I'll bring you back on the walk back down guys thanks for watching so far and I'll catch you in a minute Hey guys, so one of the things that we ask, get asked most when we're out wild camping is why do you actually do it? Why do you go out at minus four, sleep on a mountain? Well, why not? Look at that. That is your front garden when you've been sleeping out. Absolutely stunning. Sun's up in the background. And you get to wake up and see the sunrise. You get beautiful views like that straight on your doorstep. You don't have to wake up at 3 a.m. and drive to the site. You're already here. Have a cup of coffee, have a brew with a view. Right guys, we're all packed up. As always, leave no trace, bit of flat grass. You can see where the tent was there. All packed up. I might have been the last one to pitch, but I'm definitely the first one to pack away. Look at these boys, still got the tents up. <laughs> Slow coaches. Right, I ain't going to film any more on the way down. But uh, thanks for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up. Like, subscribe. Go over to Twin Peaks Wild Camping. Give them a subscribe. Like the video. If you don't like my video, go and watch theirs. It'll be a bit more polished than mine. And whilst you're liking and subscribing to channels and videos, go and give Dai a follow. Subscribe to his channel, Wild Camping with the Dragon. It's been an absolute pleasure camping with these gentlemen overnight. Make sure that uh, you give his video a like. And again, if you don't like my video, watch Dyes. It'll be a little bit more polished. And you, mate. And you. We'll have to do it again soon. Right. Thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.